Welcome to the Poor Choice video series. I'm John McClellan and Poor Choice is where we drink the worst liquor in the world. Today, we're going to have the number one selling liquor in the world, something called soju. Now, I've been drinking since I was in Cub Scouts and I have the arrest record to prove it, but I have never heard of this stuff. I didn't even realize it was booze when I first saw it. I thought it was one of those condiments you didn't realize was still in your refrigerator until you move. Now, soju is a clear Korean spirit, and it outsells the number two spirit, a uh, whiskey brand from India, by the way, two to one. It looks, it smells like vodka, made with tapioca, which looks and smells like vodka after you vomit. There are all sorts of rules involved in drinking soju. You always use two hands to pour and drink this, and that should give you an idea how bad the shakes are you get from this. If you're drinking in front of your boss, you must turn your head away. We have the same rule here in America, but that's just during working hours. And it's tradition to turn away and cover your mouth when you drink soju. I'm going to call this the cough rule, and it speaks of the quality of Korean booze. Now, do you know what happens when you break one of these rules? You get more boobs. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Are we drinking? Are we watching competitive falconry? I only have one rule. You put it in front of me, and I'm drinking. So let's fly. Now, another one of the rules that they have for this stuff is that you slap the bottle before you open it, which I found funny because in my experience, most of the slapping happens after you open the bottle. <laughs> ah! Ah! I, I will tell you, Aside from the pain, the flavors are subtle, but everything seems to be getting drowned out by that metallic taste in my mouth from the filling that just came loose. All I know is I want to smack the bottle again. So what have we learned here today? rules to drinking is something you do to make it more interesting, but interesting is not what drinking needs. There's a beer brand out there that touts as their spokesperson the most interesting man in the world, and I've always wanted to say to this guy, you know what I find interesting? I don't ever see anyone drinking your beer. What would really make this interesting? If there were better penalties for not following the drinking rules instead of drinking more soju. And I came up with all these Guantanamo-style punishments to present you today on the program. But after drinking this soju stuff, I think it's harsh enough all on its own. I'm John McClellan. Thanks for watching Poor Choice.